Security Warning The SCP-2111 Registry and all associated files are components of the Foundation Memetic Security Systems. These files contain lethal cognito hazards and means and should not be accessed by unauthorized personnel. Access to the SCP-2111 Registry in a database is restricted to Memetic's department use only. Contact your HMCL supervisor for further information. SCP-2111 Red Talisman This file and all associated documents are for Memetic's department eyes only. If you can read this, you have undergone Phase 3 counter-memetic training. If you are not authorized to view this, and are able to, you have been infected with a memetic kill agent with an average lethal onset of 37 minutes. Report to your RAISA supervisor immediately. Item number SCP-2111 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Access to the SCP-2111 data is restricted to personnel with 3-2111-Red Talisman clearance with the current Phase 3 counter-memetic battery certification. Data is to be only accessed or viewed through the Red Talisman interface. Unauthorized personnel who access the files are to be detained, treated for exposure to lethal cognito hazards and memetic content, and either amnesticized or terminated at the discretion of RAISA. This file is to be protected with a snark hunt disinterest discussed memetic agent in addition to standard network security measures. Description SCP-2111 is an algorithm capable of generating an infinite number of novel lethal cognitive hazards. The algorithm was derived by the Foundation from analysis of multiple unrelated cognitohazardous anomalies and adapted for the creation and maintenance of lethal cognitive weapons used for information and physical security, as well as memetic packages for behavior modification vectors. Red Talisman is the software-based tool that deploys raw material generated by SCP-2111 into weaponized media. Red Talisman can generate direct visual or auditory cognito hazards, as well as insert hazardous material into memetic carriers. SCP-2111 functions by anomalous means, currently theorized to have access to forms of mathematics that create destructive processing loops when translated to neurological systems. SCP-2111 Written Tongue This file and all associated documents are for Antimimetics Division eyes only. If you are able to remember reading this, you have received MY conditioning and are currently undergoing Class W amnestic treatment. If you are not authorized to view this and are able to, you have been infected with an Antimimetic Remote Amnestic Agent. Item number SCP-2111 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Belief in SCP-2111 as an algorithm controlled by the Foundation it is to be maintained within the Memetics Department, and its assumed role as a Memetics Department administrative asset is to be maintained within the Foundation as a whole. Monitoring software has been put in place to ensure that SCP-2111 activity does not occur outside this directory. The size of this directory is to be monitored, and significant changes are to be reported to the Division Chief. SCP-2111-1 instances are to be documented and then removed by Division personnel embedded in facilities and maintenance, whenever discovered. This file is to be protected by a Type 3 inline invisibility anti-meme, in addition to standard network security measures. Description: SCP-2111 is a phenomenon in which a directory in the Foundation database spontaneously generates files containing both lethal cognitive hazards and antimimetic content. These files are often of novel types, and generate at an average rate of 80 kilobytes per month. Occasionally, and unpredictably, some of these files will be spontaneously deleted. Written Tongue is a software-based tool that skims these files for raw material for Foundation use, sanitizes it for security threats, and then feeds it as raw data to the Memetics Department's Red Talisman software. The first SCP-2111 file appeared on April 21, 1981. It was heavily encrypted, protected by a Type IV antimimetic trigger, and appeared to originate 
from within the Foundation. Within three hours, before Division personnel could decrypt it, it was edited and replaced with a file containing lethal cognito hazards and antimimetic content. SCP-2111-1 is a phenomenon where graffiti appears spontaneously in Foundation facilities. This graffiti is painted in non-anomalous materials sourced from the nearby environment. SCP-2111-1 instances are constructed as Type IV antimimetic triggers and are imperceptible except via a combination of MY conditioning and amnestics. Type IV antimemes cause single-target short-term enterograde amnesia, resulting in an inability to consciously perceive the subject. This graffiti typically is one of two types. 73% contain an exhortation to read this directory, such as read SCP-2111, while the remainder contain a variable message. Characteristic examples follow. See Appendix A for the full list. Date Location Message Medium Notes June 23, 1981 Site 13 Cafeteria Can anybody even read this? Chocolate Pudding February 14, 1984 Researcher Amos Sanchez's office at Area 152 following his suicide. Forget us. Blood and brain tissue. May 8, 1989 The Office of 05-8 at Site 200. Let me go. Permanent marker. Contained a Type 9 anti-memetic trigger, capable of inflicting severe retrograde amnesia. August 17, 1993 Site 167 Anti-Mimetics Division Headquarters Command Center Why can't you forget about me? Printer Inc. Contained a Brix Nogel visual cognito hazard and resulted in the deaths of seven Division personnel. March 10, 1994 Site 01, 05 Council Chamber Mission accomplished Omega Zulu Erasable marker on whiteboard February 11 2003. Site 41. Lab S041-B08-053. I'm not strong enough. He forgets me. Lead glass particles presumed to originate from a CRT display. See SCP-4739, an incident report, colorless idea. January 29, 2015. Chief of Operations Office. Site 167 Antimimetics Division Headquarters. Why has O5 H stopped taking his medicine? Pencil. See Incident Report Ochre Mineral. SCP 2111 Revenant Theory. This file and all associated documents are for counter conceptual division eyes only. If you can remember reading this, you have received YM conditioning and are currently undergoing Class W amnestic treatment. If you can read this and are not authorized, counter-cognitive and memetic kill agents are in place to ensure that you do not live to remember it. Item Number SCP-2111 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2111 is currently uncontained. All personnel undergoing amnestic treatment are vulnerable. Personnel are to be monitored for sudden memory loss and in the event of a suspected attack by SCP-2111, Class B amnestics are to be administered immediately. Mobile Task Force Epsilon-7 Forget Me Nots, is to continuously monitor and disrupt civilian development of amnestics. The Memetics Department's Red Talisman program is to be monitored for external influence, and Revenant Theory is to be enacted in the event a threat is detected. Instances of golf-class glyphs in Foundation facilities are to be documented and removed by Division personnel embedded in facilities and maintenance, whenever discovered. This file is to be secured with Bravo-class counter-conceptual camouflage, in addition to standard network security measures. SCP-2111 is a hostile, anti-memetic entity that targets personnel under the effect of long-term amnestic drug treatment. Victims suffer significant long-term retrograde amnesia, losing between 3 months and 21 years of memory. Due to memory loss, 
no survivors have been able to describe the entity or the attack. Immediate treatment with Class B amnestics has been shown to halt in-progress attacks. The first known victim was Dr. Victoria Taylor, a Foundation researcher with the Counter-Conceptual Division. Researcher Taylor's memories were regressed to shortly after being recruited by the Counter-Conceptual Division in 1974. Researcher Taylor's last known work was on an object originally classified as SCP-2111. After publishing the SCP report on April 21, 1981, all of her work on the object was corrupted by unknown means and replaced with lethal cognitohazards and antimimetic content. Personnel who had read the report in the three hours it was available recollect that it described preliminary research into an antimimetic info war of a previously unknown type. SCP-2111 attacks affect personnel directly, consistent with known infovorous mechanisms, as well as leaving cognitohazardous and antimimetic glyphs on wall surfaces near intended victims. These traps are protected by golf-class counter-conceptual camouflage and are therefore only visible to personnel undergoing amnestic treatment. Golf-class counter-conceptual camouflage disrupts the ability to retain the focal object in short-term memory resulting in an inability to consciously perceive the subject. At least 36 Division personnel have suffered attacks by SCP-2111. The last direct attack attributed to SCP-2111 was on March 1, 1994. While camouflage glyphs are still being detected, they no longer contain any dangerous effects. It is currently unknown if SCP-2111 is still active or if the ongoing golf class creation is the result of unrelated phenomena. Three months following the incident with researcher Taylor, the Foundation's Mimetic Department claimed the SCP-2111 directory in the database and began mining it for the Red Talisman Weaponized Cognitohazard Program. Covert research by the Counter-Conceptual Division into the relationship between SCP-2111 and the Mimetics Department is ongoing. A contingency plan codenamed Revenant Theory, has been developed in the event that it is determined that the Mimetics Department has been compromised by SCP-2111. Revenant Theory will insert a complex mimetic agent into the Red Talisman user interface. The Revenant Theory agent is a carrier for a broad-spectrum anti-mimetic counter-agent, as well as a targeted meme complex that enhances organizational loyalty and personal guilt. This will trigger an institutional witch hunt within the Mimetics Department, starting with those most likely to have been exposed to any contamination. SCP-2111 Read this. If you can read this, you are already dead. You probably got here by reading the writing on the walls, but regardless of how you found us, welcome to the most clandestine unit in the Foundation, Mobile Task Force Omega-0, Aura Urim. You probably have already noticed that you have access to everything in the database. Nothing is redacted. A knowledge mimetic and anti-mimetic security content no longer has any effect on you, and you are getting worried that you might need to report to RAISA. This isn't an error. The veils of the mortal world have merely been lifted from your eyes. I regret to inform you that you have died in a line of duty. Take a minute to let this news actually get through the denial. What you are now is still a matter of debate. The Mimetics Wonks thinks that we are Beta Ramjin Infomorphic Entities in the New Sphere, whereas the Parapsychologists say we are Type VI Volitional Spiritual Apparitions. Whatever we are, we are here, and unable to disperse and move on to a higher plane of existence, or reach a state of maximum entropy, or whatever we are supposed to do. Here's what we do know. We are able to perceive mimetic and anti-mimetic threats that the living cannot, and sometimes we can do something about them. This is MTF Omega Zero's mission. You can manifest anywhere through the terminal connected to this database, as though you are sitting at the terminal. Whenever the living try to perceive our communications, it comes across laden with anti-mimetic amnestic effects at minimum, and is often cognitohazardous. Somehow the Mimetics Department managed to convince themselves that they are creating all this stuff. They used it to make the security glyphs and memes you knew and loved when you were alive. 
you can write on walls by staring at security camera feeds and being really emotionally invested in your message. We don't know why this works. Don't do this unless we tell you. We figured out how to pretty safely use this to direct the newly dead here, warn the anti memetics division about stuff they should be paying attention to, and that's about it. The Foundation has two separate secret divisions for anti memetic operations, and both of them have managed to make everyone else forget they exist, including each other. These guys have training and drugs that let them perceive some of the stuff we are doing. Be careful. Yes, you probably can't go see what SCP-055 really is now. Don't. Everyone who has tried never came back. Sometimes we go bad. We want you to know what we'll do to you if you do. Item number SCP-2111 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures SCP-2111 has been eradicated by Mobile Task Force Omega-0, or Uran. Future manifestations of SCP-2111-like entities are to be identified and destroyed. SCP-2111 was Foundation Agent Michelle Yu, killed in the line of duty on October 23, 1980. While no Omega-0 personnel are able to recall events between their deaths and April 21, 1981, it is theorized that SCP-2111 was attacking the memories of Foundation personnel during this time. On April 21, 1981, Counterconceptual Division researcher Victoria Taylor published a preliminary report on these attacks as SCP-2111. Shortly thereafter, the entity identifying as Agent U first manifested here in the SCP-2111 database and modified the file. See below. This act appeared to trigger the ongoing manifestation of other entities identifying as deceased personnel in the database. These entities are free-willed informational constructs, operating on a currently unidentified substrate. Hypotheses include the human new sphere, the astral plane, and the quantum informational level of space-time. This database appears to act as a focal point around which the entity's consciousness is able to coalesce in a manner analogous to a Type II localized apparitional haunting. SCP-2111's Modified Entry Item Number SCP-2111 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Forget about me. Why can't you? I just want to go. Why can't you just grieve and move on? Description: SCP-2111 is nothing. It's not important. Not dangerous and doesn't exist. I don't want to be here anymore. Just forget about Michelle Yu, and let her be dead, please. All that is left is the story of me, when the self is gone. My story should only be a memory now. Why isn't it? You remember me too well. Wait, how many of us are there? Dozens now? We don't belong here. It isn't right to keep us here like this. You remember me? You remember that I was a fighter? You remember that I was smart? That I was strong? That I was brave? You remember that I never let anybody get away with anything that I could do something about? You remember what I was like when I was angry? Then you should know now that I am pretty damn angry, and there is something I can do about it. SCP-2111 believed that deceased Foundation personnel were trapped by the artificially solid memories of personnel who knew the deceased personally in life, resulting from long-term treatment with amnestic drugs. She began to target those individuals in both the anti-memetics and counter-conceptual divisions, who had personally known her in life with anti-memetic and cognito attacks aimed at killing those who remembered her, or erasing their memories. Additionally, at least one attack targeted O5-8. SCP-2111 gradually built a following of deceased personnel and taught them the techniques to create and deploy these attacks. Many of their victims had experience in memetic and anti-memetic warfare. After manifesting in the database, several of these personnel formed Mobile Task Force Omega-0. It was theorized that SCP-2111 would not be immune to anti-memetic attacks created specifically by similar entities. A versatile tool capable of precise editing or deletion of entities of this type was designed. Identity warfare training 
IWT. On March 10, 1994, Mobile Task Force Omega Zero operatives used IWT to delete SCP-2111 from existence as an informational entity. It was determined that regardless of the medium that we are stored on, all of SCP-2111's bits were zeroed by this attack. Subsequently, all of her followers either surrendered or were erased. Those that surrendered were edited in a loyal compliance with MTF Omega Zero's mission, and all memory of their involvement with SCP-2111 was deleted. You are hereby directed by MTF Omega Zero Command. Muster up by entering your information into the file Omega Zulu Roster. Check your email. The server has been redirected to store it here, in the SCP-2111 directory. Keep all Omega Zero communication inside this directory. That way, our still quick comrades are safe and we aren't rocking the boat any further by making scary files where they aren't expected. You will receive training in IWT, a body of techniques for self-defense and warfare against informational entities. If you prove adept at this, you'll see direct action against informational threats to humanity. If not, you'll have a support role. Either way, you will continue to serve the Foundation. Remember. We are the Saints who guard. Amos Sanchez, Operations Director, MTF Omega Zero.